to be collaborating with uh, Sun. For the past few uh, videos, I have not I've not really talked about my work. Uh, I'm a graphic designer, and right now I'm actually freelancing at this company, which is uh, somewhere in Perry Park. And I got to meet uh, a new friend. Uh, Sun is actually an intern at this company. Today we are going to be talking about uh, a little bit of work and also a little bit about uh, how Sun has actually come to Singapore and live and uh, she's all by herself. Uh, say hello! Sun's Korean. I find it uh, pretty interesting that she's actually uh, in Singapore alone. Uh, not with her family, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so she's in Singapore alone. And, I just find it really intriguing that she's uh, a young little pretty girl coming all the way here to live by herself. I'm sure there will be a lot of things that uh, is very new to her. Is this your first time in Singapore? Yeah, but I've been living in Singapore for a bit less than two years. Okay. So before this, have you been to Singapore before? Oh, just a month. Before I first oh, just like for holidays. Yeah, just to okay. look for, like oh. after I got into my. Oh right. So she has been here, but maybe just as a tourist. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, a little background about uh, my new friend is um, she she's currently a student. Yeah, Asel. Asel is an art school in Singapore. So, um, she's taking graphic design. Okay. Design communication. Okay. Maybe, would you like to share, like, what exactly are you doing in school? So, it's... Design communication is more like visual... visual or graphic design. Yeah, so it's like this thing. It's do, a design course. Yeah. We do things like package design, publication design, and yeah. So she is basically an art student, a uh, major in graphic design, and uh, what do you intend to do after you graduate? Oh, or rather, after your internship year? Oh, my internship year. <laughs> Actually, I have one more year left for my school, so I will think a lot during that year. Yeah. But at the moment, she's an intern at this company where I happen to be freelancing. So uh, after Friday, after Thursday, she's actually going on a trip. Uh, that, that marks the end of her internship period. And then she's going to Korea and the States, I think, to meet her family. Yeah. The family is in Korea. And, yeah. and my brother is in the U.S. Yeah. Okay, so her brother is the thing. So, um, she's going there on a leisure and family gathering kind of trip. And um, I would like to ask Sun, uh, how is it different living in Singapore and living back home in Korea? Yeah. Like, what is the uh, most significant difference being here and also being back home? I live in the Seoul part of Korea. It's, uh, it's the capital yeah, of South Korea. It's a big city. And I've not been to Seoul. <laughs> and Singapore is also a city, but I guess the biggest difference about the environment is Singapore has more greenery. No. And is it um, as crowded as it is here? Or uh, actually, Singapore. Where do you live? Oh, Singapore. The size of Singapore is slightly bigger than Seoul, but Seoul has double the population of Singapore. Oh, okay. So, so very it's, crowded. Okay. So it's a little bit like Singapore, uh, where it's a it's a very modern city. I've not been to Seoul. So, um, what about 
the culture? Do you see any significant difference? Because in Singapore, it's very multiracial. Yeah. We have different races, yes. the Indian, the Chinese. But is it the same in Korea? No. Or at least in Seoul? In Korea, it's hard to find so many foreigners around, mostly Koreans. And if you go to food court, you cannot find all the food, like Different Indian kinds. food, Malay food. Yeah, it's hard to. So it's significantly only Korean food? Mostly, and Western food is popular. But if I'm not wrong, like certain parts of Seoul actually has got like a, a, the Western population oh, uh, yeah. area. Oh. Like, is it uh, at Gangnam? Uh, oh, no. It's called Itaewon. Oh, Itaewon, yeah. right. A lot of foreigners live there, and when you go there, you can kind of experience uh, So it's like our Holland village. Oh, Have yeah. you been to Holland? Yeah. Uh, okay. like, Certain different uh, special restaurants you can find there, which maybe you can't find in other places. Okay, and what about friends that you made here? Do um, you find them different from friends that you have back in Korea? In Korea. Actually, it shouldn't be much different because we are all basically uh, adults. Uh, it's just that we're from different background and yeah. uh, different. Uh, but is there any particular uh, thing that like language or our habits or the, the kind of uh, behavior? Is there anything really, really different? Uh, I don't know if, if it's because I'm a Korean and uh, I'm a foreigner here. Uh, Singaporean friends or new new friends, new people tend to like be more curious about me and they are very friendly. Mm -hmm. Like when I know yeah. Sun, the first thing I ask her is about K-pop. Yeah. So everybody will ask her what K-pop yeah. is about. K -drama. K drama and okay. So most of us Singaporeans will be quite curious uh, towards uh, our foreign friends. And it's so nice that I have a few friends from, uh, a lot of friends from Singapore, then Indonesia, Malaysia, even like Western countries. I guess when you come here, you will meet different kind of people uh, from different countries. Uh, they themselves could be uh, here for a few years, just living and experiencing the life here, and then you'll move on to another country to do something else. It is not uncommon because we are basically a transit country. I think that people come here and live, and then they experience the place, enjoy the hot weather, and then they'll move to another place. Maybe they like a four season country, and they'll go to that country. language I was so surprised that even oh surprised that everyone can speak Chinese and English and even the elderly can also speak English which I thought they can only speak Chinese. That was like a shock. Dude, there's, uh, there's a lot of Koreans speak English back in Korea. Actually we oh in about English we have we have to study English it's a compulsory subject. Okay. So most of the students or young people know how to use English, but mostly like writing or reading, but not, not much of the yeah. So if you go to Korea, you can still ask. You can still speak in English. Yeah. They do understand. Okay. Today, actually. It's not just me and Sun. We have another friend with her. <laughs> She's helping us to film. So I'm um, thank you to Suhua. Okay, uh, we were talking about. Uh, oh, you want to get it? Yeah, I want to get it. Sorry. This is not mine. Okay. So this is mine. I don't want to have it in the bag. Sorry, sorry. I didn't know you texted me. Just, uh, yeah, in the office. Okay, so we were talking about uh, our languages, difference, and now I'm sure uh, whoever.
whoever is watching this video will be very interested to know like how the sun passed the time uh, when she is in living here in Singapore. Like what do you do during the weekend? Do you go out? Do you, do you have your own group of Korean friends here? Or who do you hang out with during your weekend? I usually hang out. Uh, because it's holiday right now, <laughs> the holiday season right now, and my just now I told you that I have a lot of friends from other countries, and so they all oh, went cool. back. Yeah, oh, okay. they all went back to the country, so I'm left with my Singaporean friends, <laughs> and one of my best friends is also Singaporean. Oh, okay. So I go out on the weekends like cafe hopping or. Oh. He introduced me to local food. Oh, right. Yeah. I remember when I first uh, came to the office to help out, Sun was the one who brought a whole group of us to this oh, yeah. rice, <laughs> curry. Uh, curry rice shop. Yeah, scissor cut. Scissor cut. Uh, to be very honest, I myself have not even set to that part of the country before. <laughs> well, it's that uh, it's along Jalan Besar. Oh. Road. So she is very familiar with this area. Oh, yeah, it's because, yeah, because uh, she kind of lives around here, but we should not talk about where she lives. <laughs> we don't want people to be like uh, following her home no, or really checking her down. But anyway, I will be linking some uh, social media down underneath. So the Instagram, Facebook, to uh, look out for it. Uh, and then uh, we can like follow her and see what she do. Yeah, I also have Korean friends here. Oh, okay. So from my school. But my school, like in our grade, there's only like six, seven Korean students. The whole school? Oh, no, in my school. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, in the whole school around 10. That's a lot of uh, yeah. Korean friends. Are you? Do you know each other or do you? We oh, only like three of them I hang out with and I'll see and I <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, But we know each other, we once met. Just say hello. Yeah, 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 we also speak. It's so obvious that we're in But are y'all taking the same course? Uh, oh, like different courses. So like nice. fashion, All right. fine arts. Okay. After you graduate, have you got plans to continue to come back to Singapore and live? To the state maybe. Oh, not actually that sure. Starting my work here. That's okay. one of the reasons I do my internship here. Right. So to experience how the design agency is at the company. Okay. And is it very competitive to work back home uh, in Korea? Yes, it is very competitive. Okay. And is it is it do you feel like it's the same here? to be working in Singapore? I feel like there's more opportunities here. Uh, one of the reasons are because they give more uh, chance to, yeah, chance foreigners. to foreigners. Yeah. School and uh, Well, I myself, I'm a freelance graphic designer. So I do agree with what I'm saying because uh, there are a lot of work available uh, in Singapore, but um, it's 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 not that uh, uh, good opportunity to, to work in Singapore. It's just that you have to constantly make uh, uh, keep in touch with uh, people in the circle, and then you can really uh, try to bring in more business for yourself as a graphic designer. So, what other things that um, you will you will explore? Other than food, yeah. Is there anything else you do other than cafe hopping, okay. yeah, uh, restaurants? And uh, like with my co-workers, <laughs> I sometimes go to like nature walks. Right. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> I really like. And that time I went East Coast with my friends, school friends, and it was one of East Coast is a, a stretch of uh, uh, sea shores on the east side of the country and uh, the height 
that some have been to is actually a long uh, little hill that we have in this small little island. It is not a mountain, but uh, most people will go and uh, hike. No? No, I can't. <laughs> so what is it? It's a okay, it's not even a hill, it's a reservoir. It's a hiking area. It's not hiking enough. It's not. Oh, so where did you go? Maguchi. Okay, they went to Maguchi Reservoir. Uh, that's where they kind of do a track walk. Yeah, tracking. Tracking. Uh, I might link a picture of them <laughs> here if I manage to get hold of one. So then you can see how they actually did their. Track and walk. We've also been to a lot of small islands around Singapore, like ah. Hello Bean or Kusu Island, St. John's Island. Yeah. That, is, that is uh, <laughs> one of our rare leisure <laughs> hobbies that we do. I, I went alone. You went alone? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see the turtles in Kusu Island. <laughs> the whole day? Oh, actually, I cannot stay the whole day. I have to come out before 4 pm. You mean because you have the oh, no, yeah. oh. the ferry come the last right, ferry right, comes right. out and then I cannot stay there. Also. Okay. So early. So sounds very adventurous. Uh, she's gone on this little adventure trip on her own. Uh, so there are things to do here, I guess. It's just really depends on what you enjoy and what. You and I really like to walk from my house to around Mar Marina Bay Sands and all the. River area. Okay. So stays around the MDS. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a very high end area uh, where uh, it's a beautiful place. So it's very near the garden. Uh, the garden quite a bit. Yeah. So uh, that is also another tourist attraction that uh, is very popular in our country. Um, I'm thankful that Sun is here to help me out to do this collaboration. Uh, she has not even finished or started with her lunch, so <laughs> we'll, we'll let her get up to it. And uh, thanks for watching. So if you would like to hear more about how uh, we're going to collaborate again, uh, do leave a comment underneath and uh, we'll see. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. Good. Yes. When he's on camera mode, he's actually brighter.